hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with us tips on how to work with crinoline how to attach it to um, a peplum without adding lining okay so you could actually um, attach a crinoline to a peplum and still add lining to it but for this one there won't be any lining so this is what i'm trying to achieve so um this is a skirt and it has several layers of um, peplum with um crinoline being attached to it so you could actually line or not line the skirt right so i won't be lining mine so let's get started with the tutorial now the first thing you want to do is to bind the edges of the crinoline okay so your crinoline comes in different widths this is the crinoline here comes in different colors and all of that so um crinoline has a way of causing irritation on the skin if your skin comes in contact with the crinoline that's for the edges right so you need to look for a way to you know take care of that so um for you to do that you need to bind the edges of the crinoline so you can bind the edges with um fabric you can see that so you just bind it like this you can use masking tape but this is better then you are going to place the crinoline on the right side of the peplum okay since um, this peplum does not have lining you will be placing the crinoline on the right side of the peplum at the edge okay and then you'll be sewing with half inch seam allowance right so if this is your first time you might want to pin the crinoline round okay so this is the edge like i said so i'll just place it on my peplum on the right side like i said and then i will start sewing with half inch seam allowance so some of you may want to ask how did i cut a circle so i just cut out two full circles and i had to join okay so I am sewing with half inch seam allowance as you can see. If you're a beginner, you may want to use pins to secure the crinoline line down. So I'm just sewing. Do not sew with more than half inch seam allowance, right? So I'll just keep sewing till I get to the other end. So now when you get to the other end of the peplum, you should also bind the edge like i did um, at the beginning okay of that means i mean the edge of the crinoline. line that binding is very very important okay so next step now i'm going to flip the crinoline line to the wrong side of the fabric or the wrong side of the peplum okay so um here so what you do is you push the crinoline line inwards to you know till it gets to the edge there and then you'll be sewing on the wrong side and you're going to be sewing very close to the edge of the corner line okay i'll show us how i'm going to do that now okay so this is it here so like i said we are sewing on the wrong side okay so i will place my corner line under the sewing machine like this if you preferably you should pin it down okay because it might be difficult for you to control if this is your very first time of using it okay so i'll just you know sew it down very close to the edge of the corner line okay so you just sew gently you don't need to rush if this is your first time you can see that i'm sewing very very close to the edge of the corner line so now i'm sewing on the wrong side now you might want to ask won't it show it won't show okay i've made several tops you know with this and then the crinoline line is not showing now the effect of the crinoline line is that it makes the peplum wavy and all so i'm just sewing all the way down and i'm making several layers of this um peplum right so i'll just continue and i'll show us the outcome yeah so this is the outcome this is just one layer of the peplum you can see how wavy the peplum looks already so i'll be attaching this to my skirts and here we are so for these skirts i'll be having several layers so i'm just showing us um the number of layers i've attached so far 
so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you like subscribe and share